This looks like your average 80,000 pound semi, right? But here, take a closer look, because there's a big difference. There's no human driver. So at Aurora, what we're building is a driver. The Aurora driver is this combination of the hardware, the stuff you can see hanging off the side of the truck here. So different sensors like a LiDAR and camera and radar that allow it to see the world. And then some really interesting software that allows it to take that data to figure out how to drive safely through the world. We want to be out there with thousands or tens of thousands of trucks on the road. And to do that, we have to be safe. In March, the company hosted an investor day in Pittsburgh where they demonstrated the truck's situational awareness and response on a test track. It has one job and it's single-minded about it. Uh, it also has some pretty incredible sensing that allows it not just to see down the road, but see beside it. We can see pedestrians on the side of the road in, at night beyond the distance of the headlights. And so we can be making a lane change away from that person walking down the side of the freeway. So there are ways we're going to be safer for sure. The industry likes to say we're already saving lives. And the answer is they don't actually know that. What we saw with robo-taxis in San Francisco is some of the mistakes human drivers make, uh, like driving drunk. Computers don't drive drunk. But they don't make human errors, they make robot errors. Professor Koopman is also concerned about the relaxed stance government regulators have taken with driverless vehicles. The company's going to decide when they think they're safe. And the only thing the regulators are going to do is judge them after the fact if something went wrong. That's where we are. Aurora plans to be fully driverless and deployed between Dallas and Houston by the end of 2024 and expand across the Sun Belt by 2026. If we learned anything from the robo-taxis, you're not going to wake up tomorrow and every truck's automated. That's just not happening. So if I'm a truck driver today, probably I can retire being a truck driver.